Hi Lakeshore friends, Megan here. Do you have a lot of plastic bottles in your recycling bin? Well, what if I told you there are tons of ways to reuse those plastic bottles to help your child learn at home? Sound interesting? Then let's get started. Everyday items you may throw away or recycle are perfect for supporting your child's learning. Today, I'm going to tell you about three fun and easy learning activities for your child at home using water bottles. Activity number one, number bowling. This activity not only gets your child moving, but is perfect for practicing number identification, counting, and comparing numbers. Here's what you'll need. 10 plastic water bottles with caps. Don't worry if you don't have 10, you can always use less. Food coloring, if you have that available, water, a permanent marker, and a ball. Here's how you set up. Step one, fill each bottle with water and add a drop of food coloring if you have that available, so the bottles are more visible. I'm using a heavy basketball for my bowling ball, so I'm filling the bottles up all the way. You may want to use less water if you plan on using a lighter ball. Close the caps tightly. If you are doing this activity indoors, you may want to add some super glue inside the cap just to make sure the caps don't loosen during the activity. Step two, write a number one through 10 on each bottle using the permanent marker. Step three, set up the bottles in a triangular formation like bowling pins. And now you're ready for the activity. Each time your child bowls, ask them to count the number of bottles they knock down and identify the numerals written on the bottles. Ask questions like, of the bottles you knocked down, which bottle had the greatest number written on it? Which bottle was the least? Or, this turn you knocked down two bottles. Do you think you will knock down more or less bottles on your next turn? For older learners, ask them to add the total number of bottles they knock down after each turn. Then have your child keep track of their points until they reach 100 points. Activity number two, bottle cap letter match. This is a fun language activity to practice identifying letters and matching uppercase and lowercase letters. Here's what you'll need. 26 plastic bottle caps, a sheet of paper, a permanent marker, and a bag. Now here's how you set up. Step one, on your sheet of paper, write the uppercase letters A to Z in no particular order. Step two, using your permanent marker, write the lowercase letters A to Z on the bottle caps. Then put the bottle caps in the bag. Now you're ready for the activity. Ask your child to pull out one bottle cap letter at a time. Identify the letter and place it on the sheet of paper on top of the corresponding uppercase letter. Once your child has completed making all of the matches, they can use the bottle caps to sequence the letters of the alphabet from A to Z or build simple words. For older learners, instead of writing letters on the paper, write challenging words with one letter missing. Then write those letters on the bottle caps. Have your child pull the letter from the bag and identify the challenging word that is completed by the letter. Then they put it in the blank space and read the word. Activity number three, sensory exploration bottle. This activity engages your child's visual sensory inputs and can also be used as a soothing or calm down strategy. There are even science concepts at work here too. Here's what you'll need a plastic water bottle with cap, water, food coloring if you have that available, cooking oil, and super glue or glue gun to secure the cap. Now part of the fun with this activity is making the sensory bottle together. So let your child add some of the materials. Step one, fill the water bottle up about halfway with water. Then add one drop of blue food coloring to the bottle. Step two, then fill the rest of the bottle up with cooking oil, 
leaving about an inch and a half at the top. Step four, now seal the bottle. To make sure the cap doesn't come loose while it's in use, add a little super glue inside the cap before you tighten it on or tighten on the cap and then seal it using the glue gun. Now you're ready for the activity. Ask your child to describe what they see. They might notice that the yellow oil is floating on top of the blue water. Ask your child to predict what might happen when you shake the bottle. Let your child shake the bottle, then sit it right side up on the table. Encourage your child to watch what happens and describe it to you. You can ask questions like, was your prediction correct? What do you notice about the yellow and blue liquids in the bottle? Then allow your child to explore and enjoy the sensory experience of shaking the bottle and watching the liquid inside. They can also hold the bottle horizontally and tilt it from side to side. This is a wonderful calming activity for children and adults too. For older learners, you might want to introduce the science concept that oil is lighter than water or less dense. This is why the oil floats to the top of the water and remains separate from the water. Even when you shake the bottle, the oil eventually floats back to the top of the water. You can even ask open-ended questions to get your child thinking, like, what other liquids do you think are less dense than water? I hope you enjoyed today's Learning at Home video. Be sure to subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.